You're probably sick of me already, aren't you? Oh well, deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to be mean to you. No, anyway, um, so today is a CD review. Oh, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? I don't know why I'm hyped up. Anyway, so yesterday is the 29th of October. I bought a CD. Nothing new there. I always buy CDs. But I bought the CD that has actually been out since... Well, on our time, it's been out since... Uh, probably Thursday, the 25th of October. Mind you, there is a day difference between everyone's release. I know because I remember a whole bunch of people abusing um, a store that sells this particular CD and that, that store was like, hold up, we have nothing to do with it, you have to blame Universal Music. And they were like, we don't care, you're the ones who started it. I was like, yeah, whatever. And I saw that, so all music shops that got yelled at in Australia by all these lovely fans, I'm sorry. I don't understand. I am not one of those people who yelled at you. I read what you said on your page and said, Don't freak out. It's not our fault. I am truly sorry that every customer that loves this particular artist yelled at you. And they need to read the signs that you posted online or in stores or quit nagging you. To be completely honest, it's not your fault. So there you go, music stores. Greatly appreciated that you stock every album that I love. Well, almost every album. You still need Multivella Jukebox, then I'll love you. <laughs> anyway, so back to my review. Today, uh, so, uh, the 29th of October, I bought a CD. Nothing new again. I bought Taylor Swift's Red. Um, can you see it? Okay, I had to listen to it. Now, music store that I bought this from, I don't like you because this CD is skipping. It is scratched, so I'm going to return it when I go down to the shops next. Anyway, so, back to the point. So I brought this, and I had a lovely listen to it, and I actually like it. Um, I like saying something. I mean, I've brought Taylor Swift's other two albums. The other two albums are more country-like. This one, she's starting to spread her wings and become less country. I, she started to seem more pop and more, I don't know, I guess, sort of like Adele. You know how Adele's using her songs to abuse exes, like Rolling in the Deep and Someone Like You, that sort of thing? That's what Taylor's doing in these albums. So Taylor's sort of like, oh, so I dated this type of guy. Okay, that type of guy will be my song. So, hmm. I will admit I did stop listening on track 12 because I got busy. So I've still got four more tracks to listen to. And, yeah. Okay, so the songs are State of Grace, which is number one. Number two is Red. Number three is Treacherous. Number four, I Need You a Trouble. Number five, All Too Well. Number six, I... Almost do. No, six is twenty-two. Seven is almost I do. Eight, we are never ever getting. Oh, we are never ever getting back together. Which everybody knows that song unless you've been living under a rock. Nine, stay. Ten, the last time featuring Gary Light Body of Snow Patrol, and I actually like that song. It's soft and sweet-ish, but it's a bit weird. It kind of just repeats itself over and over. 11, The Holy Ground. 12, Sad, Beautiful, Tragic. 13, The Lucky One. 14, Everything Has Changed featuring Ed Sheeran. 15, Starlight. 16, Begin Again. Um, I mean, from what I've heard, it's a bit rocky. I don't know. I mean, you might not get what I mean, but it's kind of like, okay, so Taylor Swift is doing what she normally does, but it's less country and more pop and a bit of a sit down and think about how many exes she's gone through to make this album. <laughs> um, I, I want to hear the Ed Sheeran track, Everything Has Changed, which I will when I finish making this video, because Ed Sheeran's got a great voice, and I know him and Taylor are really close. They're not dating, as far as I know, but they're really close, so it's like, wonder how well. Okay, so you want to see the inside of it, right? Yeah? This is the inside of it. <gasps> ah! Okay, so again, that's her CD red. Uh, in the case, it says, Thank you! I guess maybe thank you for buying it, thank you for listening to it, thank you for being my fan. Whatever. <laughs> uh, the cover is Taylor Swift herself, of course. It comes out. Okay, so, 
This is what it looks like. Taylor Swift. The prologue where she discusses all these little things that she likes. Uh, she has a quote, I think, that she either likes or she made up. It's called, Love is a Ruthless Game, unless you play it right and good. Cool quote. So that's pretty much all that stuff in there. Uh, pages for State of Grace and Red. Uh, Treacherous and I Knew You Were Trouble. All Too Well in 22. I Almost Do and We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Stay, 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 the last time. Holy Grab, Sad, Beautiful, Tragic. That's really nice. It's a really nice photo of her. I mean, she's really pretty and everything. The lucky one and everything has changed. And Starlight and Begin Again. Yeah. So if you're a Taylor Swift fan, go ahead and buy it. I'm not stopping you, because you're probably going to buy it anyway, aren't you? Or you probably already bought it anyway. But if you're not a Taylor Swift fan, I don't know, maybe this won't change your mind. Because... It's not her usual stuff, like, um, uh, you know that song, uh, um, the previous song she's released from other albums, like, um, that Romeo and Juliet song, and all that sort of stuff. I can't even think of them right now, can I? Ah! Anyway, so, I mean, it's completely different, so it's up to you whether you buy it or not. I guess if you're a Taylor Swift fan, obviously, like I just said, you're going to buy it no matter what. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. If you're not a Taylor Swift fan... Just YouTube the songs and find out if you like it, because Taylor Swift has released a few of the songs online, which will decide whether you like it or not. So that was my lovely review of Red, Taylor Swift. Um, leave your uh, opinions down below in a video response or comment, because I would love to hear what you guys think. And I'm going now, because you're probably sick of my voice. Now, ta -da!